Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, everybody. <clears throat> that voice is nice. So not only do I look like crap, this chair. Not only do I look like crap, but I sound like crap too. Um, so I had a voice. It was coming back. It had been kind of gone if you watched my last vlog. Um, but one of my friends just FaceTimed me and she got engaged. So I screamed and ran laps around the house. And so I, um, it's gone. It's like, it's done. <coughs> um, so Allison, one of my bridesmaids, I'll put a picture up of her right here. I was so excited when I found out last week, literally a week ago today, so it's December 23rd on December 16th. Um, so I live next to Allison's brother. He is Sam's best friend. Um, Allison and her fiance, um, he lives in Charleston now. But he actually graduated like with Sam, went to the same school, everything. So like I'm all pro Wofford boys. And they've been dating for I think three years in November. Um, so like I, you know, we've always kind of known Allison and Sebastian, and so I, I like drove by uh Steven's house, Steven is her brother, a week ago, and I was like, What is Sebastian doing here? Like Allison usually would like tell me or she'd like come see me or something, like why why is Sebastian here? And I found out, like, later that day, Sam was like, you cannot say anything. I just realized they're all Sam, Sebastian, Stephen. I just realized that. Just now. Um, oh, Lord. Sam was like, you cannot say anything. But Sebastian came up and he asked um, permission to marry Allison. And I was, like, so excited. I screamed for, like, 20 minutes. Very next day, Stephen's fiance, Stephen, Allison's brother, his fiance had her like first shower, which was a Christmas shower. And she told me at her shower, she was like, yeah, it's crazy. He's asking her on Christmas Eve. And I was like, what? So I've literally known for a week. I've been texting Allison all week. She came to see me once this week when I was sick and like, she had no idea. And so I was just standing in the kitchen and I like been thinking about it all day. Like I've been so excited. Cause I was like, okay, tomorrow she's getting engaged. She's in Puerto Rico with Sebastian. Like, so exciting for Christmas. She's been Snapchatting me all day and I was standing in the kitchen and I was looking at a Snapchat and I got a FaceTime call from Allison and I was like, oh, she must be like seeing a view or something, like a pretty view that she wants to show me because I didn't think they were getting engaged until tomorrow. And so literally the screen like pops up and she just holds up her hand. I just started screaming. Like I just took off through the house. I like could not stop screaming and Sam was like, you got to chill. So I like went into our closet, I shut the door, I like did a little dance, ran laps around my house afterwards, screamed, called my mom, screamed, like, I'm so excited because nobody deserves to find love like that girl does. Like she has had her fair share of losers as we all have um, dating, but like she found such a cool guy. I'm just so excited for her. Like, they are so cute, and she caught the bouquet, as you guys saw in that picture, at my wedding. And um, that was just earlier this year. And so, she's been all into, like, thinking, you know, when are we going to get engaged? When's it going to happen? Like, I remember January of this year, she was helping me stuff envelopes, and she was like, Sebastian, when are you going to ask me to marry you? And he was just like, Allison, oh my god. So, I am so excited. I've still been, like, Snapchatting and texting with her. I just can't, like, I cannot believe that she's engaged. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. And she like truly is like a little sister to me. So I'm just so excited that she is engaged to the coolest guy. He's so kind. I'm a little upset that they're gonna be living in Charleston. But like he's such a good guy that I'll forgive him for taking her from me. And it's so funny because they're actually, so he is um, from Puerto Rico and she is from France. So Lord knows when they're going to be getting married because they have family that literally still live in both countries. And then they live in um, America. He's in the, I'll call it this chair. He's in the Navy. And so he's like stationed in, uh, in Charleston. Big deal. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what he does because like it's big deal. But I'm just so excited for them. Like nobody deserves to find love like Allison does. So I just can't wait. I'm so happy. My makeup. It's a hot mess. I have not been putting any of my skincare on the last week because I've been so sick. And right now, 
clearly I am paying for it. Oh my gosh, this is like really good foundation. It's my Estee Lauder Double Wear and it looks bad on my skin because I have not been moisturizing or taking care of my skin. Oh, just goes to show you, doesn't matter what the makeup is like, if you don't take care of your skin. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a time lapse and I'm going to get ready really fast with you guys. So it's Christmas Eve. We just finished. Um, my voice sounds horrible, by the way. We just finished. Um, we're at my Nana's in Greenwood. We just finished opening presents, and everybody's starting to leave because now we're all older, and so we're all either married or engaged. And we've all got other family Christmases to go to. So I'm gonna show you how pretty this view is. So she lives on like Greenwood. obviously down a little bit right now. Usually the water goes way high up. Look how pretty. It's look how beautiful that is. So peaceful. Obviously because the water's so low there's like nobody out here this time of year. My voice sounds a whole lot worse than it actually is, by the way. It's amazing. They have their boat up. Merry Christmas, everyone. So, I just woke up about 20 minutes ago. I um, am getting ready. We're about to head to my in-laws now. I just found out that I reached 3,500 subscribers on my main channel. So, that is like y'all's Christmas present to me. So, I'm so so grateful for you guys um each and every one of you you've made this year incredible i just i can't believe that it's just a good day it's just a really good day Look, I'm gonna video it so we can... Me too. I'm gonna video it so we can see how it looks. Come here. Yeah, I'll post it for you. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Somebody said that it was... Oh my gosh. Look at so different. Oh my god, you don't look old. Look at that, and then you can like... You have makeup on, I don't. This is so... I said she does it. Oh my god, that's bright! That's awesome. Is that the lowest it'll go? Uh, this is the lowest it'll go. And then that's the brightest. Ooh. That's so cool. Hello. <laughs> God. Yep. <coughs> Great intro. What's up, guys? So, it's the day after Christmas. I have my headband in right now because my cowlick was looking a little gray. And I just wanted it to be kind of pulled back. Um, 
So I look a little different than I usually do. People always ask me, how do you braid your hair when you do it like that? I don't know why. Because I guess this is like the color of my hair. But anyway, it is the day after Christmas. I have so much to do. I am doing a half day of like regular work today. Because like nobody wants to do anything. Nobody's back in school. Nobody wants to work today. So I'm going to take all the Christmas decorations down in our house. I have started like the process of kind of getting everything like at least sorted to areas and figuring out like what I'm actually going to put up. Usually I leave up my Christmas decorations until January, but this year I am not doing that because my cat, the little black one, this one. He has been quite the little brat this Christmas holiday season. He has um, undecorated like half of my tree already. And so I'm just ready to get the stuff out of my house. I'm ready to quit like hearing ornaments rolling around the floor in the middle of the night. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it all today. We have um, a Christmas party that we're going to on Friday. And then I think after that, like that's the end of our Christmas festivities. Um, it's just with our friends. Like we all couldn't get together before Christmas. So we're getting together after. And then New Year's Eve is a week from yesterday. So we are literally nearing 2019. So I figured um, I'm probably not going to like film myself cleaning. I might film myself cleaning some of it up. But I mean, I'm just in my pajamas. Like I'm literally wearing a Wofford shirt and my PJ pants. Uh, so I mean, I'm not like doing anything crazy. Also, I am going to kind of sort through some of our Christmas gifts that we got yesterday. I'm uploading a YouTube video right now. I am being efficient. I am getting it because I don't like to have our stuff sitting around forever, especially because we always get like candy in our stockings and stuff like that. Um, and our dog will eat it all and it's chocolate and that's bad for him. So I've got to just like sort through all of our stuff. I've got to clean this or figure out how to do like a good clean because I'm using our pressure cooker that we got yesterday, tonight for dinner. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me today if I can. Like I said, I'm uploading today's video. I'm doing a video. So you're on the vlog channel, but on my main channel this past week, I uploaded a video on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Still haven't filmed the video that's supposed to go up tomorrow, so I have to do that today. And then I have to film the intro and the outro for the Friday's video. It's the like blooper video. So if you haven't seen that, you have to go see it. It's so funny. Basically, I took um, like in November, I was like, oh my God, why not I make a blooper video for the end of 2018? And so I started taking like all of my bloopers and outtakes from every video that I filmed and I like put them into one video and I like cut them down. Um, so that'll be my last upload of 2018 for my main channel. So it'll be really fun, but just have to film those things today. I'm super busy already. I can just like feel it in my head. So let's go. Great. So I just threw on my, um, Sherpa. It's so cold outside. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to go to my shed. We have a shed out back our house where we keep all the like Christmas stuff um, that like or the stuff that stores our Christmas. So <clears throat> probably shouldn't be out here in my bedroom shoes. So I do have the um this is the rain plant arch that we were gonna use in our wedding. I don't know. Ugh. whose dog that is that's my dog over there he's mad because he sees this thing I don't know what what are you what are kind of dog are you I'm sure they'd like to know 
This dog is loved though. I mean, the dog is so fat, like fat. I don't, but he doesn't have a tag. Well, this happens a lot, actually. This is probably the like fourth dog we've seen in our yard in the last like two weeks and we don't, we don't ever know who they belong to, but they don't come back. Like this is first time I've seen him. It's probably the last time I'll see him. Go, go home, go home. I think it's a girl, maybe? Are you a girl? Yep, that's a girl. Okay, girlfriend. Your mom's probably looking for you. Come on, let's, let's go. Come on, let's, let's leave this shed. Do you, where do you belong? It's the country, that's, that's normal. Okay, all right. This is bin number two. Going in the house. Dog, do not follow me. She's still here later, which they usually never are. I'll start walking her around and figuring out where she lives, I guess. Well, that's a slight change of plans in my day. Well, that was ridiculous. So I'm just gonna leave the dog outside because usually, like I said, they just, they'll come here because we live in the country. They got free, like there's gates, you know, dog, everyone has dogs and they'll get out or something. Usually if we just leave them outside, they'll go back home. Um, if she's still here in a few hours, I will go and look for her family. Oh, she's barking outside. Oh, she's barking outside. Okay. Oh my God. She's left by someone. That girl is fat and she's old. You can tell. So what we're gonna do is, my dog, look at him, he's losing his mind losing his mind we're going to pack up all of the christmas stuff that we can the gold tree in my room that i absolutely hate the uh one in my filming room i'll show it to you guys it's just it's old it's it's seen its days we're gonna get rid of this completely like it's going and um <coughs> so that one is going to the like i'll just probably put that in the back of sam's truck and then this green one that we have decorated that you guys saw on my main channel, that one, I will have Sam take that apart. He's usually better at that. So I'm gonna do that now. Wow, I feel dumb. Okay, so I looked and I was like looking out the window and she had a little, um, what's it called, a little tag on the side of her collar, but it was like not hanging, it was built in. Guys, it's freaking Raspberry. She's my neighbor's dog. I don't know why I did not recognize her. She always comes up here when it's dark. That's probably why I didn't recognize her. But that means that her brother's outside too. So if Raspberry's out, that means, well, I can't think of the other dog's name. Um, her brother's out. He usually will run out of the gate. He'll roam around, he'll come get her, and then they'll go home. So I'm not stressed out about it now. If Raspberry is still here later, I will literally just walk her like down this, like literally right across the yard. But she is usually she walks back by herself um i cannot believe i didn't know that was raspberry that's funny so all is good she is fine and they take very good care of her they just have um their back gate if you like literally if you just like flick it it opens so that's why she's here Okay guys, I had to pull up my hair. <laughs> I look a little cray. But look, there's no Christmas tree. We are officially de Christmasified. <laughs> I'm not <coughs> I'm not quite sure what 
or we're even calling it, but it is over. Look, there is no Christmas tree anymore. Everything is up. I am so happy. I just wanted it. It like got to where I was like, okay, I need it out of my house. Gotta just like clean everything, get bristles up, get glitter up, which is just a nightmare. My brother ended up coming. He's home from college right now, and he ended up coming over and helping me like move all of the stuff. I got all of our candy sorted. Look at this. All of our candy sorted. So like I dumped literally half of our candy. We get so much candy every year from our moms. And by the way, I don't know if I've told you guys, we have those tied up because it's just easier to like clean the floor. And so I tied them up this morning so I can just like clean the floor and call it a day. Um, but our moms gave us so much candy. So I had to like go through all the candy and figure out what Sam likes, what he doesn't, and then I dumped the rest of it. I am not eating any more candy. I have had enough, like so much so that like yesterday my stomach was like huge and it hurt. So I was like, okay, no more candy. And I'm also ready to uh, like start working out again. I had been working out like five weeks straight. I had worked out and I was feeling so good. My body was starting to look really different. And then I freaking got sick and I could not work out. So I'm so excited to get to do that tonight. And there's no Christmas tree in my way. So I'm really excited. I'm going to start cleaning and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay. I have gotten so much of my house like deep cleaned and organized. I haven't like done the um, vacuuming and dusting in my living room, but I have done it in like most of the other parts of the house. It's a little bit loud. So I'm going to turn the thing on. Oh, that mirror needs to be cleaned. I just saw that. I ended up changing out, um, the storage situation that I had for my um, skincare in my bathroom. I got my entire table reset. So I have to do my bedroom next. And I literally have got to get filming. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm stressing out. Um, I gotta get moving because I have to film a video. I have to also make a video go live tonight. I have to go to town right now, run to the bank. I just ordered the most adorable pillow covers because these are fine, like they're okay. Let's turn this way so you guys can see them. They're okay. They're not my cup of tea. Like, they're nice, but I feel like they're very, like, hmm. And I'm not that sophisticated. I want fun pillow covers, and I don't like these. I don't like red. I don't want red in my house. It's not anywhere else in my house, and I feel like these just set the tone in my house, and I don't like them. So, it's like everything else is, like, fun and young, and those are, like, more grown-up, and I don't want grown-up furniture. So, I gotta run to the bank. I think I'm gonna grab some lunch on my way back. I have to see how many calories are in the lunch that I want. Um, but we'll just, we'll see. I've got so much to do. And if I could just like cr sit down and actually do it, like crank it out, it would be fine. But I can't. Like I have this to do and this will come up and then I'll have to stop and do that. It's just a story of my life. So get the dog in. All right, let's go. Hello, guys. So. I am, I finished with work for the day. I'm going to um, Costco with my parents. I'm at my parents' house now. I actually have to leave, go pick something up, and then I'm coming back. But listen to what my little dumb butt did. So I had invited people over for um, New Year's Eve, <laughs> and one of my friends FaceTimed me today, and he was like, so do you have cable? And I was like, no, you know that. Like, I only watch Netflix. And Hulu, like I don't, we don't have cable because I only watch Friends. Why? And he was like, how are you going to watch the ball drop? And I was like, don't know. <laughs> so we had to move the party. Um, I'm killing it today. I'm killing it. But I wanted to catch up. I wanted to catch you guys up on my New Year's plans and hmm, killing it. Per usual, I forgot to finish out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you guys next week.